Hello beautiful friends, I'm Sherilyn the Happy Stylist. In today's show we're going to talk about skincare and watching over your skin when you are mindful to be doing things like out in the sun and I'm going to take you on a ride on the back of my husband's Harley so we're going to go into that segue after this. I will tell you the wind was really really windy and it's the first time I've ever filmed on the back of his bike so you'll notice that like three quarters way through when the bike gets going really fast and we're not stopped you won't be able to hear what I'm saying so I wanted to go ahead and do an introductory um, to the show with me actually on the back of his bike to show you things I do to protect my skin in the sun. Okay, if you've ever ridden on the back of a motorcycle or done anything outside in the sun, you can use sun protection, but that's usually good for about an hour. You know, even wearing a big hat, you it will keep your face shielded, but uh, if you put sunblock on, like you might notice you get burned. Oh, oh my gosh, I got really burned. Well, I put sunblock on, what happened? You gotta reapply it every hour, and you gotta apply it thick, like you're painting on, and then of course you look white, and all that, but you rub it in really well. Think about painting your walls. They're not going to be protected with paint or you're not going to get coverage unless you put it on thick enough, correct? Same thing with your skin. You don't get a second chance at your skin and thank goodness because of technology and plastic surgeons and, and dermatologists, there are things we can do to turn back time, if you will. But I'd much rather use my money for other things like food and snacks and vacations. <laughs> Anyway, um, I want to explain to you some of the things I did when you watch this show since you do lose what I'm saying. Uh, what I do is I have this um, scarf. You could just use a piece of material if you didn't have a scarf and it is like a cotton stretchy black fabric. So what I do to protect, I wear like a, a motorcycle jacket, of course, safety first. It's got the shoulder pads and whatnot in it, but I actually, to protect my um, neckline, it's very high, but right in here and right in my face, it, it is exposed to the sun. Now we rode on a very cloudy day, but what most of you may not realize, you're like, oh, happy stylist, I'm not getting any sun because there's lots of clouds. That's the worst time because you're getting a lot of the aging rays and you don't feel it because it feels overcast. It doesn't, you don't feel that sun burning on you and you can come out and be like really red and really damaged skin. And you know, even the uh, dermatologists will tell you a lot of people get skin cancer because they think, oh, I'm not getting any rays. I'm fine. I don't feel the sun. There's lots of clouds covering. Nope. You're getting the aging rays. Okay. So I'm going to show you what I do. First of all, we protect our eyes. So you have our cool shades on, or very cool when we're riding on the back of the Harley, or if you're out gardening or whatever you're doing in the sun, you wanna protect your eyes. Then, of course, I use a helmet. I'm very much about head safety. So you put your helmet on. Okay, so now I've shielded, double shielded on my eyes from the sun, but I still have my nose is a little exposed, my cheeks and my lips. And we all know about those creases that you get in your lips as we're um, getting older. So you wanna protect your lips. I use a, a SPF 15 um, lip balm over my lipstick, so double duty. And then I'm really, you're probably like, well, why did you do that? Cause you're just gonna cover up. I do, but sometimes I get on the bike and I don't have this on right away cause we're just riding a short distance. Um, even if it's like five minutes down the road, I generally try to wear this because I feel like I don't wanna get old. <laughs> I don't want my skin to get old. <laughs> so as you know, I'm 50 and I've taken care of my skin, but later in, on in life. So it's never too late. And when I say later on in life, I mean, I was probably like in my 20s when I really started being mindful of the sun and protecting myself. The best way to protect is covering up. No matter what you think, the sunblock, you'd have to keep reply, applying it, like I said, every hour. And how many of us honestly can say we do that? I don't, I try, and I'm very mindful of all that, but I wear the big hat if I'm walking outside or if I'm doing anything outside in the sun. I Sometimes I'll even have an umbrella, but for riding on the back of the bike, this is what I do. So I put this on, you'll see it, I show it to you in the video, but because you lose my speaking because of the, the wind, I actually, let me see. So I'm like, I wrap this around me, I look like a ninja. It's very cool though, I think. You can be fashionable in protecting your skin. Let's see. So I do like this and I wrap it around. And I do like this. And of course, it's kind of lower, so I'm protecting my... I wear a shirt that um, comes up high around the neckline. But if not, then I just do that. See, ta-da! Ta-da! I'm totally covered up from the sun. Now, this falls down. Sometimes I have to keep readjusting it. I'm working on maybe finding a stretchy piece of material that I can just use like a cowl and pull it up. I know they sell them, but I'm all about trying to make it my own fashion. So I wanted to just introduce to you about that, uh, what you're going to see in the show. And again, our skin, protect your skin, protect your skin, not only because of the aging process, but skin cancer. Our ozone is thinner and I'm just telling you, 
I think I said it in one of my other um, videos, the dermatologist told us one in every three is gonna come down with skin cancer. Now, we don't have to receive that, but we can certainly be mindful and take care of our skin. Protect, protect, cover up, cover up, cover up. I do not wear gloves when I'm riding. I have some gloves, but generally my hands are down like under, my husband's in front of me, and I have my hands down like on a little harness that I hold onto, so my hands are not even in the sun. They're totally covered up. So, but that's another thing you can do because again, our hands show aging, so we wanna take care of our we don't take care of our skin, our hands, our face, everything. You think, oh, it's no big deal, I'm just out for a few minutes. It, it adds up, every day it adds up. So if you're gardening or you're just going for a walk, cover up. You can cover up with cotton and it's still breathable and you'll still be cool and trust me, you'll be saying, thank you, happy stylist. I look so good because I covered up. I hope you enjoyed this show. Remember, we're, going, we're here to learn, laugh, live younger, and be the best you or me that we can be. And again, you're gorgeous and you're going to stay gorgeous. You're going to protect your skin and enjoy the ride on the back of my husband's Harley. Have a happy day. Hello, beautiful friends. I'm Sherilyn, the happy stylist coming to you live on the back of my husband's Harley. We're on a ride today and I wanted to tell you today about skincare. It is the largest organ on your body and it's the one that's the most I would say not the most hardest but to restore so today we're going to talk about proper skin care what you should do to take care of your skin of course use sunblock of course use shaving see how i have shields on my face and my head my body's totally covered up my neck my shoulders my arms just not my hands you could wear gloves i keep my hands down low behind my husband's seat so they're not exposed to the sun but one of the things you can do and this can go for anywhere if you don't ride on the back of a bike or if you go somewhere out in the sun or you're doing gardening is wrap your face with a cotton type of piece of material this happens to be a scarf and i will keep my face completely covered with it to keep it from wrinkles and sunspots and skin cancer and actually aging this is one way that you can extend the length of your life of your skin not just your life but the life of your skin skin cancer is very much a prevalent concern nowadays 